Hyundai has been pumping out a slew of well-executed products lately, mostly sedans and crossovers. Time for a little fun. This is Veloster. Good luck trying to categorize it. If you were going to cross shop Veloster, you'd be looking at things like Scion TC, Mini Cooper, or Honda CRZ. All of them have two doors. And that's where Veloster veers into new territory. It's a coupe on one side and kind of sort of not on the other. Surprise, there's an extra door on the passenger side. Begging the question, why? On traditional coupes, people complained that it was difficult to get into the rear seats. So it looks like a coupe, but it's not. We have a hidden rear door for easy access to the rear seat. And the hidden rear door is on the curbside for easy access. At the press launch in Portland, Oregon, I choose a base car with no options. At 17,300 bucks, there are supportive seats with quality cloth. Also standard, phone support, a seven inch touchscreen, and Pandora internet radio if you hook up an iPhone. Listening to your own library, Grace Note provides voice command and the album art. And yes, if you're wondering, there's air conditioning. An available six-speed dual-clutch automatic transmission has paddle shifters up here. I am driving a six-speed manual. Power is provided by Hyundai's 1.6-liter direct-injected four-cylinder that makes 138 horsepower. Dig the center-mounted exhaust. Turn off the traction control, and you can fool the world that Veloster lives up to its powerful name, but really, zero to 60 takes about nine seconds. For a good time, it's best to keep the engine in the upper rev range, especially on hills. Good news though, fuel economy is rated at 28 city, 40 highway. So you won't be drag racing Porsche 911. It does handle pretty well in the curves though. And this is where Veloster shines. It's fun to toss around in the corners, in many ways channeling the old Honda CRX. You'll look for signs like this. The six-speed manual transmission is light and crisp. The engine, nice and smooth sounding. The cabin is fairly quiet at highway speeds. The ride quality won't beat you up on long trips either. EcoCoach helps you ring out the best fuel economy. Blue Max lets you brag about your gas saving skills with others on the web, kind of like a video game based in the real world. At this price, you might think Veloster has a Spartan interior. Eh, not really. Inspired by sport bikes, materials are hard but feel substantial with a nice texture. The standard audio system sounds decent and gets an XM tuner. There are video inputs if you want to play back movies here when it's in park. Full leather is not available, neither are seat heaters. One more gripe, no spare tire. Hyundai has a new telematic system called Blue Link. Most people would compare it to OnStar. So you're gonna have automatic crash notification or SOS, but we have unique features as well, like voice text messaging, or uh, we have a geofence where you go on your computer and you identify an area where you don't want the vehicle to be driven. And let's say your, your daughter drives outside this area, you're going to receive a text message. Order a completely loaded Veloster for $22,550, and there would be a panoramic glass roof here and push button start here. The sound system gets a substantial upgrade at this level, and a 110 outlet is added for, as Hyundai says, hooking up a game console to the LCD screen. <laughs> Can't think of a faster way to get an Xbox stolen. Remember, there's only a back door on the passenger side. Legroom is actually okay, even with somebody sitting in the front. Headroom, well, there's just enough for my average size frame. Wouldn't want the driver to hit any big bumps. Even without the third door, Veloster has a very unique design, very aggressive. The back end is reminiscent of the glass hatch on Honda CRZ and Insight. Some will like the design, others won't get it. Less polarizing than, uh, say, Nissan Juke, though. Sorry, no TP trunk test for the Veloster, but the useful hatchback design has more room than you'd expect in a smaller vehicle. In size, Veloster sort of slots in between the two-passenger CRZ Hybrid and the Scion TC. It might not be fast. It might not be for everyone. But loaded with tech, innovation, and personality, Veloster opens the doors to fun and frugal driving.
It might appeal to the same kind of buyer, but Hyundai is not trying to emulate the Scion buying experience. There are only six ways to buy Veloster, meaning three different packages and the two transmissions. Then choose from nine colors. That's pretty much it. By limiting build combinations, it helps to keep the costs down. The question on everyone's mind, will Veloster get a turbo? Well, the Hyundai folks aren't saying, but seems like a natural though, doesn't it? A little bit of trivia for you. The Veloster name comes from, anyone? Pretty much nowhere. The folks at Hyundai say they just like the name. That's Driven, I'm Tom Volk.